There are many psychology resources that help professionals get what they want, but there are also simpler and equally effective techniques that anyone can use in their daily life. Here are 22 simple psychology tricks. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Mentalist and ring the notification bell to join us. Let's get started. Trick one. If you want to get a yes answer from someone, when asking the question, make the movement of your head that in your culture means yes. This will involve the other person in your thinking. The same is true for a no answer. Only this time, make the head movement that means no. Trick two. If you're starting a new job or school and want someone in the office or classroom to like you, ask them to explain something to you. It doesn't matter if you already know the answer. This improves the other person's overall attitude towards you and earns you extra points. It triggers the classic Benjamin Franklin effect. Trick three. If someone is dodging your question during a conversation, simply pause and maintain eye contact. This will make them uneasy, leading them to continue speaking. They might reveal more information about the topic you're curious about. If they were lying, your silence and gaze might convince them that you already know the truth, encouraging them to come clean. Trick four. When you need someone to cease talking, here's a subtle tactic. Accidentally drop an item such as a pen and bend down to retrieve it. While down there, introduce a different question that shifts the topic. This allows you to smoothly steer the conversation in a new direction. For instance, if your colleague won't cease discussing their weekend, drop the pen and inquire, by the way, how did your presentation go yesterday? This redirects the conversation without abruptness. Trick five, if you're going on a second or third date, choose thrilling activities like a roller coaster or rock climbing or scary ones like a horror movie or haunted house. The aim is to create intense emotions. Your date will likely confuse their nervousness and excitement with attraction to you. If you stay calm or comfort them, they'll find you even more appealing. Trick six, if you want someone to do something for you, tell them they can't do it. Most people will go out of their way to prove their capabilities when their skills are doubted. Additionally, you can make a small or unusual request before addressing the main issue. This helps build a connection with the person, making them less likely to refuse your primary request. Trick seven. When someone says something foolish or makes a silly joke, simply stare in silence. It's uncomfortable, of course, but it forces them to reconsider their words and maybe even apologize. Plus, you will seem effortlessly cool under pressure. And this image will put you in a good light with outsiders. Trick eight. People crave validation, acceptance and appreciation. Giving them these things requires almost nothing, yet empires have risen and fallen because of them. Even if people know they are being manipulated, they will still be happy because you are providing what they desire. They will overlook the manipulation for the sake of what they receive. Think about sales with percentage discounts. You know they're not always genuine, but you feel happier buying that way. In your mind, you still believe you got a good deal. Trick nine, don't start your request with, can you? as it might subconsciously make the other person think it's a theoretical question. For example, avoid asking, can you call the neighbors? Because a yes might mean, yes, I can in theory, but not, yes, I will. While can you sounds polite, rephrasing your request to please call the neighbors is a more effective way to ensure it gets done. Trick 10. When people hear something repeatedly, they begin to believe it, even if it contradicts everything they know. This is why the news is crucial to nearly every government on earth. It allows them to control what information is constantly repeated to the public. Trick 11. If someone tries to pull you into an argument or drama, respond with something kind. The kill them with kindness tactic can really stop them in their tracks. Another technique is to stay calm and silent. Nothing is more frustrating than being ignored. However, if you're trying to avoid a conflict with a friend or partner, try putting yourself in their shoes. This can help you understand a point you might be missing in their objections. Trick 12. The way questions are phrased can significantly impact the responses they elicit. For instance, when asked, how fast were you going when they crashed? People tend to estimate a higher speed compared to when the question is phrased as, how fast were the cars going when they collided? Trick 13. If you think someone is looking at you, but you are not sure, try yawning. If they are looking at you, there is a good chance that they are yawning. In the same way, you can look at your watch, and this person will also look at that watch. 
These are the gifts that mirror neurons bring us. Trick 14. When you need to give an interview, presentation or public speech, bring a bottle of water with you. Firstly, your nerves can dry out your mouth, so you'll need it. Additionally, taking a sip of water can give you a moment to recall a point you forgot. The audience will never know. If you feel very anxious about speaking in front of a large crowd, admit it to your audience right away. This lightens the atmosphere, calms your nerves and makes your listeners more sympathetic, as many of them have likely experienced the same feeling. Trick 15. If you want to extract agreement from someone you know reasonably well, begin the conversation by talking about occasions in the past when you have cooperated to achieve a common goal. One or two examples are enough. This primes them to go along with your current proposal. Trick 16. Here's another great trick for negotiations. If you generally like someone's offer but want better terms, act a bit disappointed. This tactic can work like magic with a high price or a low salary. Trick 17. Start the topic by stating something you know the subject will agree with. Transition to rephrasing whatever they agreed with, making slight alterations, and conclude with a rhetorical question aimed at agreement. Isn't that accurate? If you proceed slowly and carefully with this approach, you can get people to accept or approve nearly anything without even realising it. Trick 18. In a competitive environment, if you notice your opponent is a novice or showing signs of anxiety, try to remain as calm as possible and ask them, are you feeling nervous? You can even act bored if you can manage it. This tactic always gets into people's heads if they aren't mentally strong from the start. Trick 19. The easiest way to lie is to allow the person you're lying to come to their own conclusion about the lie and then accept that conclusion. Another thing you can do to easily reduce your chances of getting caught in a lie is to refrain from lying at all so when you do lie, it's assumed to be true. Trick 20. Pausing for several seconds or even up to a minute before responding to an offer or request can significantly increase the likelihood that your next statement will be agreed upon. Most people, especially salespeople, find uncomfortable silences intolerable. Trick 21. If you are in a heated argument with someone, ask the person opposite you if they're okay because they seem to be having trouble breathing. This will make them pause and focus on their breathing, effectively bringing the argument to an end. Trick 22. People tend to remember events that happen at the beginning and end of the day more clearly than those in the middle, which often become hazy. This is a valuable tip for job interviews. Schedule your interview either at the start of the workday or at the end. Doing so increases the chances that the employer will remember you over other candidates. Extra trick. If you need help in a crowded place, do not ask the community for help. Choose one person and tell that person your request for help. When you tell the community, people think that someone else will help anyway, but if you give the task to one person, that person will do it. Do you know any other effective tricks to get what you want? Share your experiences in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe to stay updated with Mr. Mentalist. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.